In this tutorial we're going to look at data matching in Grasshopper. So um, as we've seen data is contained in Grasshopper in lists and then the data is each geometry or data item that's in that list of multiple data items. So for example if we have these two curves let's go ahead and bring these into Grasshopper. I'll set the first curve and then I'll set the second curve um, and then we can just hide these two curves. So I have these two curves and if I divide these curves that will put a bunch of points on the curve and I'll also do a slider for the number so let's do 2 is less than 20 and let's just go ahead and copy and paste that down and plug our second curve into this component and then we can change these values and you can see on the first curve it's um, um, determined by this slider and the second curve determined by this one. So um, what we want to do is match the data, which in this case is points along a curve, to the data in this other data set, which are these points on a curve. And We want to create a line between them. So that's called data matching. And so there are some components already for that. So if you go to your sets list menu, you can find them here. There's cross-reference, longest list, and shortest list. As you know, if I pull a panel out of here, you can see what the list looks like from each of these. And so let's just take a look. Um, so in this case, I have seven items. And in this case, I have 11 items. And so if I plug these points into here and these points into here, um, let's just use a line component to draw a line between the two data items or the geometries and then we can see what's happening. So it's actually matching data from one line, one list, to data in another list. And what's happening here, because we're using, using the shortest list, it's basic, basing that data matching on whichever list or whichever has the least amount of geometry. So it takes this zero point and this zero point, draws a line between that one and that one, and then so on. So the first point to this first point, second to that, and then all the way until it gets to the end of the shortest list, and then it just ignores the rest on the longest list. The other component we can use is the longest list. So if I plug in the points to the longest list and plug those into the line, so let's just go ahead and delete that component, um, we can see that what it does is it uh, runs all the way matching 0 to 0, 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 6 to 6, and then it just continues matching this 6 to the rest of the items in the longest list. So 6 to 6, 6 to 7, 6 to 8, 9 and 10. As you can see it's um, connecting to all of those. The third one is actually it's called cross-reference. So if I get a cross-reference and plug my first points into A, my second points into B, and then A into A for the line and B into B, what this one does is it takes every point in each list and matches it with every point in the other list. So every point gets connected into this cross-reference list of data matching.